Hi, this is Matt Piper. I'm the Propeller Head Product Specialist for Line 6. And this is the third in our series of videos on recording a song. Uh, we're taking you through the process step by step. In the last video, we recorded some guitar and bass. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to program some drums and percussion parts. All right, since I'm going to be programming percussion uh, and drum parts, I turned the loop on, so this little section is just going to loop while I work. So you'll get to hear it over and over again, like so. And the easiest way to add rhythms is with the Dr. Octorex loop player. And if you listen to the default rhythm they have in here, it's kind of a rock rhythm. It's not really what I have in mind for this track. I had kind of a house vibe uh, in mind for this track. And my friend Kurt Kurosaki has made this 808 collection. So now I've got a basic pulse. Now I'm actually going to play in a little drum part on the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to create a Kong drum designer, let you see this thing. Okay. And look, there's a deep house kit. That must be what I need. I can actually tune this drum, any one of these. Should be tuned up with the track now. Okay. wasn't too hard. Now I'm going to add uh, an old school drum machine, the Redrum drum computer here. Again, I'm going to use uh, PEF's 808 refill. I'm going to put four on the floor here. And then I've got a snare here. So put this on the two and the four. And then I want to add a clap. So I'm going to sample my own clap here. And just make sure that the start is back far enough to catch the whole clap. Name it. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put this along with the snare. And then I want to mix that with an 808 clap. And here are some hand claps. That's a nice one. Now I want to add some cymbals. And I'm going to go back to the Dr. Octorex loop player. I'm going to go to Dr. Rex drum loops. And there's a house folder here. And there's some house hats here. That sounds appropriate. And check this out. This is something we can play with later. I can control the decay. I'm going to create yet another Dr. Octorex. And I'm going to look in the percussion folder here. some congas and hear what these sound like. So I want to have some variation and use a few of these loops here and I can actually automate that. 
I'll go ahead and label this congas so I don't get confused. And I'm going to just create a little loop lane so I can draw in loop changes with my pencil tool. So I liked this loop number two. So I'm going to choose it here. And so I'll draw this in. Let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, I like this loop six too. I'll put this here. And uh, loop number three. And we'll do one more six. I like this little pattern, so I'll select it and copy it and paste it. We can even uh, go to the mixer. There's the congas and add a little plate reverb. So there you have it. We have some drums now and we can edit those later, but uh, I think we've got a reasonably cool groove going so far. In the next video, we'll be sequencing a keyboard part and editing some of the things that we've already recorded.